This will be my sign. Okay. About to do another test drive up here at Maple Motors in Andersonville, Tennessee. Today, this is a 1966 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. Step side, 283 under the hood. Looks like the AC compressor's hooked up. We'll be trying it out. It looks like we have you know, chrome alternator, chrome power steering pump, upgraded uh, power brakes. I don't know if they're disc or not, not yet. Let's see. Looks like disc brakes in the front. Good deal. And this is the first time I've checked this ride out. I do this with you so you know what you're getting before you get here. So go look at the detailed pictures of maplemotors.com. Financing shipping is available. And uh, guys, this week I'm way behind. So be patient and I'll get these videos out to you. For now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. As you can see across the dash, it's in decent shape. Does not look bad at all. Nice shine there. Uh, upgraded radio, you got a vintage, vintage AC. I can't talk right now. Place those bets, do you think the horn works? This is a cold start, guys. I haven't started this at all. Radio's on. All right. No gas. Let's give it a little gas. And this was a cold start on this one. Seems to start up pretty good. The seat looks good. Interior on this looks great. Somebody's already <laughs> changed the carpet out. Let's start trying AC. Felt the compressor kick on. We're gonna give it a second to uh, cool down. Let's try some stuff on the dash. Wipers do work. Tilt column here. And it's working. Turn signals. They're not popping up. There it is. Yep, yeah, it's starting to blink now. Let's see about this one. There it goes. Now both sides are blinking and working. AC, fairly cool. That feels cold to me. Again, the radio is working. It's showing 40,000 miles on the dash. Can't stand behind that in the 66 model. Horn, did you place your bets? It forever works. <laughs> Horn sticks, but it does work. You got some kick panel speakers here in the lower corners. Guys, let's get buckled up, hit the road, and see how this one runs and drives. Let's do it. Okay, we're getting ready to take off here. Anything I see, you will know about it. That's why I do these test drives here. So, currently I have not located how to roll down the window. It's gotta be the passenger window rolls up and down. I guess the driver window may be a little messed up here. It's a little bit humid, so I'm gonna open the wet vent window and let's take off. Again, like I said, anything I see, you'll know about it. Looks like we're gonna need a little bit of fuel here. And I don't think I'll make it out through those cones. They didn't space them out far enough, so I'm gonna go check the hood on top of moving the cone real quick. Gives it a little bit more time to heat up. Okay. Well, let's roll out. Working a sensitive belt. <laughs> Gotta go really slow with it. Alright, we beat traffic still. <laughs> Let's roll. Good shift there. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. 
it's going straight as an arrow down the road. I'm not having any issues there. Got a good gear in it. You should be able to jump up on the interstate and cruise. And you can tell, I haven't even touched the steering wheel. It's just going straight there, hitting the brakes. They stop fast and smooth. What happens when I floor it? Kick down is hooked up. She's pulling strong. I'm holding her. Feels pretty good. With that being said, the gas gauge is floating around a quarter tank and I don't want to run out, so I'm going straight there. She's very responsive. All right, let's put about, uh, say $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride and we'll continue the video. Good deal. Okay, $20 worth of premium fuel and you got to put it in slow. I had to go inside and get some napkins to clean this off. So I didn't even see that at first. They have uh, made a nice little cap there and you don't even have to take it off. I opened the bed just looking to see if they put it in the bed and they didn't. It's nice and clean. The chrome in here in the wood looks great. They've even got the carpet on the uh, cover here with a seal so you shouldn't have any water issues. And it locks, so it's got the key that locks them, which I need to go ahead and lock them back. Which I actually think it'll stay down. It's pretty heavy and it's easy to lift up. There we go. Let's do this side. I don't think I did the other side. No, I didn't. Uh, there it goes. All right, let's start her up now. Gas gauge was actually right there on the E when we got here. And as we're leaving, it's, look, half a tank. Let's keep rolling. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off here. So far, so good. Let's hit the road and uh, head on back to the lot. Figuring out the flaws is up next. Let's roll. Check y'all out. Yeah, y'all looking good. Okay. 
Okay. Get up here, hit the brakes. They're stopping fast. Feels good. Getting into the gas here. right beside the car lot and it's got a decent little bump in the middle at one time it was a lot bigger now it's still a decent size give her a good listen right here pretty smooth I mean I'm not having any issues with it bouncing me around the cab or a lot of rattling or shakes the brakes are sensitive they stop fast And of course now I'm literally right next to the car lot. I'm loving the steering wheel on this. It's got a good look to it. Really matches everything in the interior. Visors are a little off on the color, aren't they? We got four o'clock traffic here. I've still got one more test drive to do. I'm gonna try to get through it. Um, so stick around, look below in the description to see more stuff, more information uh, regarding Maple Motors and our website. You can also look below in the playlists to see cars currently available. I'm very far behind this week, so I'm gonna do my best to catch up here. Stick around, picking out the flaws, up next. Picking out the flaws. Let's go ahead and walk around this truck here. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Again, detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Coming up on the front here. That front bumper's in good shape. There's some scratches behind it. Little spots there. Little rust right there where the screw was. That's missing. scratch right there on the side little scuffs the edge of the door paints a little thin chip there on the step in the front here right there as well spot there got some real light chips down here on the bottom a spot in the back here But pitting on your door handle. Front window looks good. Trim around it is in good shape. That seal there. Looking over your roof.
Vent window seal looks good. Light scuff there. A little crack in the paint here. In the back. A little scuff. Your bed rails there, little blemishes on top. This cover looks awesome. And of course down in the bed. It looks great. Little scuffs on top of the bed rails there. Coming down with this. It's shut. Chips right there. The bumper on this one looks good. A little water. Looks like hookups. Towing. Scratch in the front here. Little chip there. Also here. Right there on the edge. Then there. Scratches, chips. Chips in the edge of the door. Spots there. Little scratch there. A little bit of pitting on your door handle there. White scuff, that'll come off. Okay, we made it around this ride. Let's open her up, check out the inside, and listen to that motor. Door panel on this one's not too bad. Looks pretty good, really. It's got some dirt there that can be wiped off. Same around that handle. Seal looks good. It 
the seat on this one looks good too. Must lock this once more. That way I don't forget. Here we are. Just walking in here, turn the key. nice and quiet. Well, if the turn signal wasn't working, this was just hanging here. Let's try to clip it back. The little clip is loose. It's in there somewhat now, but it still could pop out. Let's see how loose it is. Kind of wonder if it was working. Let's see. It was. All right. So yeah, you seen where I drove over the camera and then did the headlights and tail lights. Well, that one, the bulb was just sitting out. It is working. Motor's pretty quiet. Went on down. Oh, there we go. You gotta firmly press it down to get it shut. dirt on the hood that'll come off got a scuff here on the corner guys i appreciate you watching if you're new to the channel hit subscribe and share this video that'll help me out quite a bit detail pictures financing and shipping available at maplemotors.com and i do this every day be sure to hit subscribe that helps me out and keeps me going you can also follow us on uh, instagram snapchat tiktok all the good social medias like facebook and of course, if you like the music, look up Nick Southgate Music or Southgate Production here on YouTube. Guys, thank you. See you later.